What's up my fellow shield bros and welcome in this is the next part of our Red Dead Redemption 2 storyline playthrough. We are picking up right where we left off last time. Last time we had quite the adventure and now we are heading off to meet and help or deal with the greys. Of course. Who did I murder? I didn't murder anybody. I think. Yeah. You're all right, girl. Yeah. But we can't have that witness getting away, I guess. Yeah, good girl. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Guess that wagon? Thought I did something? Hey, wait up a sec. I know you ain't so tough. Come on. I don't have time for this. Just go. I'm warning you. I will. Right. Come on now. Chill out. Horse fucker. Whoa. -hoo. Rude. Yeah. Guess we got that taken care of. All right. We're gonna go meet with the Greys. Gonna ride. We already set the waypoint, so we're just gonna ride along the red line on the road. Hello, gentlemen. Hope we are all doing fine day on this fine evening. Hope this video will actually release on morning. So fine morning. If you're having a terrific Tuesday, or if you're seeing this other time, just a wonderful day in general. So we are in the New South. We are down at New Roads. We're messing with the Hatfields and McCoys, essentially. Hey there, mister. What was that? Calm down, we <laughs> soft city folk. Son of a bitch. What was that? Hold up. Nah, you can go to hell. Stop. I ain't playing here. Just relax. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, what's your problem? The fate can Yeah, I want high honor, but sometimes you gotta teach him a lesson. Go calling you horse fucker and stuff like that? Hell no. Yep. Now let's try not to shoot anybody. I'm trying to play a good Arthur Morgan. <laughs> Go see what the Greys are up to. No, I'm not in the mood or in the interest of helping that man. Onwards we go. Yeah. Long trek to see the greys. Oh, a wild boar. In the boar. Not the cleanest shot, so it's probably not a very good pelt. That's all right. Yeah, poor belt, boar pelt. Got pork tenderloin, we got boar tusks. Can't pick up the body, all right. We'll take the pelt then. Okay, girl. 
All right. Do not use weapons or cause trouble in roads when you're acting as a deputy for Sheriff Gray. Yep, that's fine. Yep. Okay, girl. Hi there, mister. Hey, mister. It might be time to leave that. $50 bounty? What the hell did I do? And I made our honor go up. All right. Hey there. Hey there. Well, you Sheriff's orders. You wanted me to have a word with some folk on the property. I'm recently deputized, you see. Deputized? And I suppose Lee was drunk when he did it. Look, you can come in, but you ain't talking with me. Obliged. All right. All right. Don't get your long johns in a knot. Hello there. Hey, uh, I was hoping you'd talk a moment. I'm a student of the history of the region, and, uh... I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. Boy's got all the time in the world. All right. Bo. Excuse me, partner. You know what? I'm feeling good today. Anyway, sorry, you don't need to know this. Right? Talk to this guy. Oh, these grays over here. Hey, mister. Got a smile on my face today. Anyway, I won't trouble you any longer. Hey there, mister. Hey. We talked to a bunch of people. Our honor goes up. All right, cool. Good to know. Hello. Mister. What do you want? Looks like hard work. Someone's got to keep us all safe. Uh-huh. Okay. Anyway, don't let me disturb you. See you later. Howdy. Hey there. All right, so I guess these are all just like gray guards. So we'll go meet that master bow guy that he told us about. Let's go, girl. All right, let's see where this bow fell. Oh, not far. Okay. We are the friendly deputy sheriff, Arthur Callahan. Hi there, mister. Hello. Got your hands full there. That's what I'm here for. All right. These men are all packing. Easy, girl. They came loaded with the heat. gotta be somebody here right i mean this is where he told us to come oh there we go huh i'll see you at the sheriff's office excuse me friend we friends not yet but he is hoping all right yeah we don't get a lot of traveling men here and suddenly there's a whole Phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Is there? What are you doing here? I was just looking for work. Well, looking for something. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Never <laughs> the thing is, it's 
secretly I normal. Kill the whole lot of us and the what? Braithwaite's. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. Love who? Penelope. Oh, Please these are the estranged the lovers. All right. Tends to be complicated. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray, son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Greys have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Damn. Some blind loyalty All right. and stupidity. Right. <laughs> nonsense while she, she's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. She's what? like tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved in <laughs> gang feuds. Seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. We Greys, we've always got money. No brains, mine, but money. Well, in that case, <laughs> no, no brains, but we got money. Sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet, please. All right, all right, let's do it. Oh, look out for their guards. They're worse with strangers than ours are. Great. So long, and good luck. I'm thinking when this is done, you can fill me in on the goings on around here. Oh yes, sir, assuredly. Perfect. All right then. Well, it's just uh. I'm the furious kind. Uh huh. Whatever you say. All right, Shield Bros, let's go help this poor man out. Yeah. Here we go. Acting as Deputy Sheriff Arthur Callahan, we will help Bo Gray with his interesting, interesting love story. Damn, Montagues and Capulets over here. Yep. Hey, Mister. Okay, I see the gazebo. Now we just gotta find a way to get there. Quietly. Secret stealth mission. Not what I was expecting. There's a guard, there's the gazebo. Oh, the gazebo's over there. I can see it. Okay. Heads back the other way, we'll run. I always forget there's a first person. There. Go, 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 go. We're doing it, we're doing it, we're doing it. 
Oh! Got his back turned. We're okay. Hello, ma'am. Are you Penelope Braithwaite? Well, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. And... He just throws it at her. He's like, here you go. A letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, it's not from me. It's from... Uh... From Bo. <gasps> oh. Yep, it's from Bo. So... Strange. Yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the dark ages or, well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Bo's different. <laughs> but if they find out, they'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful like Ohio. Ohio. No. No. Well, neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Families are, are, there's something else. <laughs> you got a family, <laughs> That sir? is so true. Not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. I don't, uh, well, maybe a bit, but here. <laughs> maybe a bit. see Bo again, will you give this to him? Sure. Yeah, we'll go back on over. And we gotta leave without being seen. Run for it. I'm just gonna keep running. Our stamina increased nice, level eight. There we go. We're out of there. Yeah. Come on. There she is. Let's get out of here. I don't know what the red indicators are, but I don't want to find out. There we go. Yep. All right, girl. Yeah. Out of the way. Hey, partner. Well, what do you give for fish? Come on. Out of the way. Ooh, okay. What are you doing here? Yep. Oh wait. Stop following. 
I guess we whistled too close to camp. Now we have to take our other horse back. Take him on back to camp. There, girl. Come here. This way. Come on. I'll hit you over here, and we'll go see Bo again. There we go. Get out of here. It's okay, girl. Off we go. Yeah, you're all right, girl. That was a fox. Yep, no weapons. Got it, got it. Why do I have such a high bounty? Okay. <laughs> no. You look awful. God awful. Look at me. Useless. I wasn't born to this. I didn't deserve this. I used to be a gentleman. Jeremiah Compson. Compson Stead. Good for you. If that's anything to boast about. They took everything from me. Who did? They. And what did they take? My whole life. A whole way of living, a career. I stole a lot of things, but that's quite a lot to steal. Look at me. Yeah. <laughs> the shit in the mud. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, good God. I wonder what happened to this guy. My old house. The house my grandfather built. It's all dilapidated and destroyed. Repossessed by the bank. I'm no, sorry to hear that. I was supposed to live a different life. Me too. Yeah. Only I could get my old things back. Personal mementos. A watch. Old pistol. My ledger. Where's this house again? Compson Stead. It's a, north of Scarlet Meadows. <laughs> Banks says I can't go near it. Okay. I'm living rough over by Aris Field. Well, if I'm ever out that way, I'll see what I can do. Yeah, time maybe I can help the old timer out. I'll help you out, old timer. Look out! Get up. On your missing belongings. See what happened to your house. Yeah. Oh. When you. Don't look Stop around. picking out a box for yourself if you don't got that money, you owe Leopold Strauss. I, I don't. I, I, I need more time. Doesn't everybody? That casket for you? Or you want another? Wait, 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 wait. I, I, I can get it for you. Okay. But, uh, well, uh, come with me to the churchyard. And um, stay close. Okay. All right. So weird. Oh, 
this ain't right. Uh, I mean, I I'll get you your money, but, uh... Oh, well, you'll see. What ain't right is borrowing money you can't pay back. I, I guess, I guess... Also you true, also correct, true. But, uh, this, it, it ain't exactly right, what we're doing. What? You ain't the first to put his hand in the collection box, and you won't be the last. Rest a little easier knowing church has been taking more than they need off poor folks since time began. Well, like I said, well, uh -huh. the morality of the matter is a little more confusing than that. What? <sighs> you on about, man? Okay, you head on in the church. I'll keep watch. Well, it ain't in there. It's under here. I'm digging up Mrs. Claypole. What? Jesus. Oh, are we grave? Oh, are we grave robbing? Oh my! Oh no! Oh damn it! There's a bunch of people here. Oh, I got it! I got it! Look, you clear them off. And I'll wait right around here. But don't hurt nobody. Don't I won't. Shy. Ain't no one around. You two might want to find somewhere a little more private. We it was fine until you got here, mister. Good day now. Oh. I don't think you understood what I said. Oh, come on. I knew we shouldn't have been here. You missed your chance, boy. There we go. Oh, um, ma'am, would you mind clearing out of here for some uh, maintenance work? Oh, gladly. It's about time this place got cleaned up. Yeah, exactly. I feel awful doing this. It's all clear. All Don't right. like this at now all. The gate. I'll get to this, uh, this exhumation. All right. I don't like this at all. Sorry, church grounds are closed. Okay, it's uh good of you to be doing it out of hours, I guess. I'll come back in the morning. There you go. Sorry, lady. So you're not related to the one we're digging up. work did you mind no i ain't gonna mind you at all you carry on with your business we'll carry on with ours this fella oh damn choir boy get the hell out of this churchyard are you born <laughs> to preach? you hear this fella i heard him all right we're gonna lick I warned him. Ah, uh, shit. I hope this hole's dug. I knocked that first one out with a <laughs> one big right hand into the pole. Better be done, man. All right, well, here's your payment. Oh, forgive me, Mrs. Claypole. What you find? Well, she had a brooch here. It looks like diamonds. Works for me. Thank you kindly. Uh, Sorry about all of this. Now get out of here before someone see you. Can't believe it's come to this. All right, well, uh, out of here. Uh. 
So we've got there's bows. Oh yeah, there's Jeremiah Compton. Yeah, we can go look at his house later, probably next episode. There you are, girl. Come on, girl. Go see Bo. Wonder what that big building off in the distance with all the lights is. Got a letter for you from your sweetheart. Mission accomplished. Hey, partner. Hey, partner. Hi there, mister. I don't find it. Hey, Bo. You got my money? Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. <laughs> uh, I can't be bothered. Here, take it. Oh, thank you, Arthur. You'll... Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, my God. What a woman. She's... This'll get her killed, for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. They bring back the monarchy, given half a chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. Your cousin? But they're gonna... They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mister, you gotta help. No, I'm afraid oh, I'm man. I'll pay. My family, we've still got some money. Fine. Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. We better get going. Yeah, I'll help you make sure your sweetheart doesn't get killed. All right. On, Good thing on. I'm deputized. So if I go in there helping out a we'll women's rally, we ain't gonna get in trouble. Hopefully, theoretically. All right, Shield Bros. We're gonna ride off. We're gonna go help save Penelope. If she's going to a suffragette. Oop! I broke their fudge. We're having a suffragette rally. Easy boy. Oh, that down. was fast. The sun just that. Set and rose. If we don't get there in time, my true love may be shot. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright. Alright, let's go. Let's go. I want to marry a flesh and blood woman. Not a statue in her honor. Oh lord, okay. I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You die for the cause? No, no, dying for the cause. Now, what? Fight this mob? We must begin. They leave me alive. This is no laughing matter, sir. They need protecting from certain elements. Uh huh. Mostly my family. Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what, your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Hooray! Sure. Miss Calhoun. Miss Calhoun. My friend here can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun. Normally I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a... Protest march before, man. <laughs> well, treat us like the sheep. 
and the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you'll feel right at home. Shall we go? <clears throat> All right, ladies. All right. Good thing we I'm deputized. Our song is a good one, mm -hmm. and we know our cause is a pure one. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Let oh my. Oh my. What have we done? Right through town to the steps of the Bank of Roads, Mr. What was your name? Arthur Morgan. Very good. Oh, why'd you give him the real last name? Arthur Calhoun. Come on now. Well, hear it all right. Very good. Very good. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? I'm just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun. Maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it. I'll be wrong. Well, our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. I hope so. Main Street. Uh, it's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Look at these people. It's about to get exciting. I can feel it. I believe you might be right. This is gonna be so bad. Oh Lord. Alright. I give you the mail of the species. Yeah, that's a pretty dumb specimen, I grant it. A little further, please. Stop just past the bank. Will do. Spot is fine, sir. Ladies! Get down. Come on, come on. Oh great. Alright, yay. I believe in the women right to vote. I'm sure Arthur does too. I just don't want to get me in Dutch in trouble. We begin to live as equals. Equals! Ah. Yes, equal, sir. Fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Fair, equal, and free, just as the founding fathers intended. Oh. Yeah. Founding yeah. fathers, oh. not founding mothers, you hey, silly old goat. Yeah. 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 His philosophy dependent hey. on biology. What the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to the speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. What are you doing here? Listening, I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin oh, is a Lord. And stop them from ruining the speech. I can try. I can damn well try. I'll tell you what. Haven't you got anything better to do? Oh, you always was a cocky little son. Where are we just leaving? Well, who the hell is this? Follow me, Ron. Oh, uh, what? You'll hit me? Oh, Come on. Uh, can you not see how idiotic you are? I'm gonna kick this. Come on, Bo. Let's go. Quick now. We are all Americans. We gotta go before they think twice. Oh, Lord. Follow me. I know a place. Let's go then. Battlefield no one goes to. Go back and hear the speeches. I ain't voted before, but kind of getting hot for voting rights. <laughs> I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. My cousins are my primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me, everyone knows about Penelope and you. I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here all of ten minutes. Got a point. Sooner it's out, sooner it's resolved. Yeah, also a good point. With, you mean we're dealt with our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites. We bury our secrets and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasure. You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She were right, you know. And Penelope said, uh, I, I, "Oh I Lord." Daughters. I heard about gold, but Yankee gold. I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. But I don't know.
All right. This is awful. Nobody died. Ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know, but you should leave. Yeah, you should probably get the hell out of here. I have enough money when my family, we have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes. Well, I believe so, but uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a artistic temperament, so. Oh, is that what they call it? Yes. Oh, you made a joke. <laughs> I, really love it. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn. I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Uh, here, your payment. Thank you. Excuse Holy me. Holy crap, thank you. That's a lot of greenbacks. $30. I'll take it. What's the next one? Oh, we go back and see Lenny. All right. So I guess we'll head on back to camp. And next time... We will go help Lenny with whatever he has. Today we dealt with a lot of love and turmoil. But I hope you enjoyed nonetheless. If you are enjoying the content, please make sure you hit that like and subscribe button for me. Help me get my content out there. Other than that, if you have any comments, suggestions, concerns, anything at all, put that in the comment section down below for me. I do read all of your comments. So, as always, I am Shieldbro6 for the Gaming Armada. I hope you enjoyed. I'll catch y'all on the next one. Yeah. Oh.